Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Anna Vanilla Arts and here I am Anna Vanilla showing you what I've been doing lately. So this is the pattern of tulips. This is a doily which I've chose to do from a Russian um, journal magazine and as you can see there are petals and um, leaves stem and 22 levels to do and I've done about the 21th and so this is the actual project I've chosen a big um, crochet hook which is number five as you can see it's huge and this is the actual project so it is um, the toilet I've been working for uh, a couple of weeks maybe a couple of months I wasn't been I wasn't working every single day so bear in mind and this is the actual yarn uh, the yarn is called Chanet Chanet yarn as you can see is multicolored multicolored um, it's very well uh, put together it's very strong you see it's very strong it's multicolored I like the combination of colors so I chose chose to do this um, this doily on purpose with this um, yarn when I bought it and I thought I'm going to do a doily and it will turn out very 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 nicely and so this is the actual doily let me show it to you it's big it is very big so as you can see I started um, I finished the uh, 21st level so I, I do this sort of more like a petals and I will have to finish 22nd after I finish this level and that will be the last one at the end but it, it eats a lot of yarn as you can see I've used about two like this and this is the third one I'm going to use to finish it as you can see I finished it this is the actual loop and the end of the previous yarn and let me show you as you can see these are the tulips uh, these are the leaves um, and it's huge as you can see it's enormous this is a different different yarn but it's as you can see it's called Chanette yarn so it's the same type of yarn but just in different color to the doily I've made and I'm going to show you how I was actually knitting it uh, I wasn't knitting very tightly I was knitting loosely to make sure the pattern stands out and it's huge as you can see and the accents are at the edges rather than the center composition rather than the center composition as you can see so the design is actually in the edges of this doily I really love it and it takes a couple of hours just to finish one row <laughs> as you do it it's amazing but I'm crazy I'm addicted to this pattern and I'm finishing it 
and I'm going to put it on my channel and um, I'll let someone let a subscriber win it uh, the previous subscriber won now the second one and the other one will win it too will win this particular doily so please subscribe and you may have a chance to win so as I showed you this is the end of the yarn this is the end of the yarn yeah here I brought another yarn in the same color and I'm going to I'm not going to tie, tie the knot because I usually like at the end to do the uh, hiding of the knots and things like that so I just um, continue doing these um, so free and then I do it in here as you can see is a huge pattern and it's um, you have to be very careful otherwise the actual um, loops and everything may be lost and um, I need to do three of these so one oh you see it you have to be very careful you have to count a lot with these so I need three and then I do each one like this like this and then I do the third one I'm not sure if you can see it but I'm doing my best to show you and then I just have to pass through like this um, it's a bit messy but well you have to do a lot of work to to do something like this so nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then in the same one we do another another three you see I've take I've done the two wraps but I need three so I need to do them again so one two three but now I have to do another two of these before I finish this um, sort of bouquet if I can call it that way the actual design the actual neat style like this then I have to as you can see yeah this is this is like this so the next one we need to do is do another three wraps like this and do here and you have to do very slowly and carefully with all of it that's why I couldn't do this project very quickly so I had to wait to to, to do it whilst I'm at the end of it because it's just too much to do and you can't really do a video when you are at the beginning of a doily one two three four five six seven eight nine oh you see you have to be careful and even though I do a loose knitting it still can jump off and and unravel so Oh, you see, it's a lot of work. Hmm. That's why it takes a while to do just one row. It takes me a couple of hours. Because you have to do it carefully. Yeah, 
all these bouquets. So thank you very much for subscribing. Please subscribe and let's have fun together. See you.